Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will look at how to monitor and control the home internet usage of your kids. We will look at how we can use our home router to see who all have connected to internet through our router, what websites and internet content they are accessing and if necessary, block certain websites for certain individuals. For example, some of your kids might be spending a lot of time on YouTube and you want to block YouTube or for them or some of them might be spending a lot of time on Facebook and you want to only block Facebook while still allowing them to access rest of the internet. We will see how to achieve that in today's video. mobile phones, laptops, smart TV and whole lot of other devices which can be connected to the internet. A typical house will have a Wi-Fi router which will enable us to connect to the internet. The router is actually connected to the backend to the internet through an internet service provider like Airtel, Reliance, AT&T or any other ISP. And all other devices access internet through this Wi-Fi router. Now if you observe closely, all the internet traffic passes through the Wi-Fi router. So this router becomes the main point of control. By logging into the management port of the Wi-Fi router, one can see what all devices are connected to my router, which are accessing internet, which devices are being used. One can block certain websites for particular users or one can even block internet altogether for particular users. And a lot more things can be done. In our second section, we'll see how we can achieve that by logging in into a home router and controlling the internet access of some users. Before we start, there is certain information which you need to make sure that you have. So there are three important things which you need to uh, collect information on. One is to check if the router which you are using has parental control support. I use an Archer C6 router in my uh, demo today. Uh, I've been using this router for quite a few years and this has very good parental control support. I have checked a couple of other routers, the new ones, and they have very good parental control support uh, in their settings. So make sure that whatever router you're using, uh, look at its documentation and see if it has parental control support. So the other two things are you need to find out what is the login IP address, the username and password of your router. Typically these will be written behind the router. Say for example, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm showing you an image where you can see the router login details. The IP address is mentioned as 192.168.1.1. There's a username and password for that. Typically it will be mentioned behind the router or it will be mentioned in the router's documentation. This is one more example where you can see the login IP address and uh, uh, username and password. So if someone has configured this router for you, you can uh, reach out uh, to those people. Typically the ISP uh, folks might have configured the router. You can reach out to them to get the uh, login IP address, login uh, username, password and the router IP address. So once we have this information, let's go on and log into the router. You can open the browser of your choice and type in the IP address uh, which is mentioned uh, in the address bar. The address here is 192.168.0.1. It will take you to the login page of the browser uh, of the router. So it will ask for the username as well as password. Since I'm logging in many times, uh, it, it knows my username and it asks for the password. So once you log into your router, you will see something like this. And this is our landing page where we can see this is a TP-Link uh, TP uh, router landing page where we can see the wired clients and the wireless clients. If you click on the wireless clients, we can see what all wireless clients are connected to the router. Right now, it's only a single laptop, which is uh, my laptop, which is connected to the router. And no other devices are connected here. Now let me go back to my cell phone and uh, let me turn on my Wi-Fi. So once I turn on my Wi-Fi, I get connected uh, to my internet via the router and this entry should now show up in my 
routers console so let's refresh here and let's see so if i go to wireless clients there i see uh, m samsung m31 that is a uh, samsung phone's uh, uh, name and i've got an ip address so it shows up that uh, a new client has uh, logged into this router now we can do uh, quite a lot of things here let's uh, start exploring let me go back to my phone and uh, open wikipedia so i'm able to access wikipedia pretty much i'm able to access uh, uh, internet without any any restrictions here see i'm able to access a um, uh, few parts of uh, wikipedia let's say browsing knowing about a uh, few countries here and uh, let let me try out some other apps here so i have youtube i have opened youtube and i can access youtube as well without any issues let me open chrome so google chrome is going good as well there are no restrictions on accessing any website or any part of the internet so there have been absolutely no issues accessing internet uh, via my phone right now now let's go, go back and try to add some restrictions on my phone and see what happens so let's see how do we add restrictions you go to parental control and then you go to add and create a new profile so let's say i name my profile as samir underscore mobile click add and now so this will show you all the devices which have been connected to your uh, or which have ever been connected you select uh, the device which is of concern i've selected my mobile phone and click next so basically i've created a profile for my mobile phone and now i'm going to add the uh, websites which i want to block so here i've given youtube and click add now all internet data which has youtube gets blocked now there are a lot of flexibilities here i can block certain internet websites for or i can put restrictions on let's say allow um, uh, access for only a few hours uh, during weekdays or certain hours during weekends so those are few things uh, flexibility i can have i can restrict or enable access uh, internet uh, during certain times of the day during weekdays or weekends so you make all these restrictions and click save so once i click save a new profile gets created here and it takes some time for this profile to take effect uh, you can wait for a minute or two and then let's log into my phone let's check my phone and see what's happening there remember we had blocked youtube now let's go and check youtube i open youtube app and nothing is loading here which basically means there is no youtube traffic passing i mean all my youtube traffic has been blocked now for my phone so let me close it and let me see if other things work i have opened wikipedia yeah let me search for uh, something different now i will search for let's say singapore yep looks good everything loads fine so my wikipedia is working fine i'll open google chrome let me go to google news and see if i can uh, uh, do a few things there yep news is good i am able to access it books yep everything is good let me go back to youtube and see if it, if it's working no youtube is still not working so this effectively means i blocked youtube for my phone while allowing rest of the internet to work fine all right let's come back to the uh, router and see if we can block the complete internet access so before that so there's an option to see what all websites or uh, my phone has been accessing uh, so this uh, this option shows me what all are the websites which my phone has been accessing till now and how much time i have spent online
and if I want to completely block internet access so there's a pause button to block the internet access completely which can be used so let's block internet access completely and see what happens now I've blocked internet access completely now I still have to wait for a few minutes again uh, a couple of minutes at least and uh, then let's go back to my phone and see what's happening here so if you watch closely the Wi-Fi has a small question mark there it says there's something wrong with my, internet, with my internet oh it says no internet connection if you look at the top of the phone it says no internet connection though I'm still connected to the Wi-Fi uh, I don't have any internet access that's what it basically means so let me try to open YouTube yeah obviously it's not going to work or any other website for that matter let me try uh, Chrome or nothing nothing will obviously nothing nothing will work so I'll come back to my router and then uh, let me re-enable all internet access and let me remove all the uh, restrictions which are put I've started all internet access and I edit my profile go back to the profile and uh, remove all the content which I had blocked previously I save it and give it a minute or two so that the configuration is applied now let me open YouTube yep all working fine so I'll go to Chrome again Google News shopping yep everything is working good so I've re-established internet to my device Wikipedia is good as well so basically I have re-enabled internet uh, re all internet access to my phone now so this is how one can control your individual devices through your router now what I've done now is I've turned on my TV as well and you can see the Hisense TV showing up in the menu so the same rules can be applied for TV or laptop or mobile phone or any other connected device so this is how we can control what uh, devices can access uh, internet what devices can access what parts of internet and how do we control them we can put restrictions on time of day or uh, which websites uh, which can be accessed and a whole lot of other things so thank you so much for watching this video I hope you like this video and uh, if you like it give me a thumbs up and hit the like button thank you